Most of you might not know about this programming language which was launched recently. By recently I mean 2012. It is a pure functional programming language that I just learned existed last year and had my eyes over since. So at the start the first website I opened up to learn Elixir was not its official documentation but learn X in Y minutes as I wanted to get the understanding and syntax of this new language. Later on I did open up the documentation but it was too much and I had to keep myself motivated and not give up learning Elixir. So project based development right? So I would be making a simple chat application which would have the backend of Elixir and simple HTML CSS frontend. I came to know about this framework called Phoenix which is used for full stack web application development. Ok I have to admit I am dumb as f I spent 3 days just to get Phoenix set up and running. I would like to blame it to mix the package manager of Elixir which installed the older version of Phoenix and I was looking for at the documentation of the latest version of Phoenix. After that I did got the database and the basic chat application UI setup which I asked to chat GPT for no way I was going to play around with CSS myself. It's like playing with fire. For a chat application only a few things are of utmost importance. The message of course, the author who sent the message and the time the message was sent. I created a local MySQL database for that and tried programmatically adding to the database. Which I did it on the first try. I just had to create a function that takes in arguments as a key value pair and run repo.insert and boom we inserted a record. I thought of creating a sign in type page just to get the username and store it into a session so that username is available throughout the application and later on I, when I add the database functionality to the chat application I can keep track of who sent what message. And then I had to get input from the form submitted. This was kind of a headache. I tried everything from asking to chat GPT to Bing, Google searching, stack overflowing, click links everywhere. Turns out I just had to go inspect. Um, where did the name attribute go that I added in the HTML form? Turns out I am dumb. Again, it was rendering the app.html.hex file which had the base of the app and I had control A, control V my basic app layout thinking this is where it should go. Very ignorant of me to check the main section that renders other templates. But then why are there two layout files root and app? So I'll demonstrate the app now. As you can see when you load up the website it will first ask for your username and enter chat. After entering chat just it is a normal chat application. It is up on my github if you want to check it out. For some reason uh, the code is just trash. In the end I had wasted 4 days just to get the server and website up and running. But despite the odds I really enjoyed working with elixir. The actual language and that was my goal from the start. It's a 10 on 10 language, I really felt in sync with the language and I was able to cook up functions very quickly. And it has a reason to be one of my favorite programming languages I would love to try again. You know what I would also love? You subscribing to my channel. Only 11.6% of you are subscribed. That's an insane number. So please consider subscribing. While you're at it, follow on my Twitter. So you will not miss on the fun we have there.